Alright guys, so this video will be a uh, different style than my usual uploads, but um, this video kind of was cooking up in my head for a while now. So um, as uh, most of you know from the newly animated season 2 of JJK's Shibuya Incident Arc, that um, Aoi Toto's Boogie Woogie curse technique is uh, quite versatile and extremely useful and in close quarters combat. It works by initiating the clap by either his hands or others, allowing him to switch places with either himself and the object or person with curse energy or to swap with the set items or people with curse energy. As he himself said, the clap is merely the idea or action required to activate a technique, but not always the indicator for its activation. The twitch was shown by the conclusion of the Yuji vs Mahito fight, where Yuji did swap places with either Mahito or Toto, giving Yuji the opening to throw a final black flash to end the fight. Now, this is what I want to focus on for this video, the fact that Toto's technique can be used to swap the places with anything containing curse energy. So a sorcerer, a piece of debris full of curse energy, a curse, aura, or even a curse tool. So assuming the same logic, uh, what would happen if Aoi Toto was in the current fight against Heian Era Sukuna in the manga? So for this fight I'm going to be using the 120% Toto from the Mahito fight to give the best representation of his strength and a theoretical post time skip buff Toto as if he was training alongside the cash for the final battle. So as to the present Battle against Tsukuna has the curse tool of the lightning, the Kamotoke, which is a special grade curse tool that stores and releases lightning. It seems like a powerful curse weapon as its introduction, it was stated to have annihilated the elite celestial squad and five void generals that served under Fujiwara Kahoke branch, and repelled the forces of the Abe's clan Desichin squad, including Angel and the remnants of the Sukawara clan. In all manners of explanation, Tsukuna wielding his special grade curse tools is perfect. But, what would be changed if Aoi Toto was in the final battle against, alongside Yuji, Higuruma, Chozo, Kusakabe, and Ino? I'm going to be doing two hypotheticals. So the first being that Toto was alongside them from the beginning after Kashimo's death, and the second in the prison where Yuji is preparing to stab Sukuna with the Executioner's Blade. For the first, let's start with the 120% Toto, entering the field with the cast to fight Sukuna. I would imagine everything leading up to Higuruma's domain would be the same, with some minor blows being exchanged with Toto's assistance, but I don't think with Toto's immense 530,000 IQ that he would reveal his curse technique entirely to Sukuna, though Sukuna should and probably does know its entirely quali qualifications, since he was within Yuji during all of their battles. As it was shown in chapter 246, that Sukuna knew Nanami's technique was in displayed from seeing it back in season 1 of the anime, and of course the beginning of the manga vs Mahito. So it's safe to assume someone is observant of Sukuna to know that his technique does. So even so, I don't think that he could prevent it from activating necessarily, um, besides outright killing Toto with the dismantle before or after it activating, as he should see the curse energy spiking up before its activation, so it's entirely possible that before it even activates, he'd be dead. But let's assume it does activate for the sake of the video. What does its effects really do for the battle? I see confusing Tsukuna for a few interactions for this, um, until he grows tired of it and removes Toto from the fight, or the gang just jumps Tsukuna like they did in the manga, and they get more decisive blows on him with the swapping of bodies. With Toto being smart with his uses, I could see him even taking the Kamoteki before the trial, taking over Tsukuna's scapegoat, and effectively making him a ticking time bomb. With the Kamotoki gone, Tsukuna would then be the one targeted by Judgment, and be sentenced to having his curse technique stripped and the death sentence penalty. With these conditions, it would be much more likely for the cast to win, assuming an even stronger Toto could end the battle with the first time skip training. I could see this scenario actually happening, with Toto's possible, possibly even obtaining a domain. So the first scenario is a drastically different one than what we got in the present manga. After the confiscation of curse technique and possibly even curse energy, they would have a solid shot of victory with them, all working together in Toto's support in the fight. The second scenario would begin with Higuruma's death. After Yuji obtains the Executioner's Sword, he is shown slashing down towards Tsukuna. With this scenario, I'm going to continue with the canon story so that the other cast is down, and it's only would just be Yuji and Toto as support, and just the Kamotoki being taken by Judgment. Tsukuna here is a problem, since he would still have his curse technique and the world ending slash. Even with it taking a manual recitation for its activation, it's still quick enough to end either of the two um, before the fight starts. So with 120% Toto and a rage boosted Yuji, I see two, two possibilities in this interaction. Um, one that Yuji slashes and fails to stab Tsukuna with the assistance of Toto's, 
Uh, the boogie woogie the sword into Toto's hand due to sneak stab on the Sukuna from the rear. Or two, that Toto's boogie woogies Sukuna hit himself and then proceeds to revert the technique to send Sukuna back straight into Yuji's sword. Either could work or fail depending on mainly on Toto's presence being known by Sukuna and the sheer element of surprise. With the level of plot armor that Sukuna has, it's really hard to see him losing in this current state, as I've said before, but current Sukuna could take on the entire JJK verse and win pretty handily. But with a hypothetical month trained Toto coming into the battle with a hypothetical domain or even the reversal of his own technique, like when Kenjaku did with his gravity curse technique, if the fight then is the same in the first scenario, but instead of Toto swapping places with Sukuna, but instead of swapping the Executioner Sword to himself and then doing the reversal of Boogie Woogie, which should be a repulsion type ability since it's the base is an extraction, I mean attraction-esque type ability, Sukuna should be pulled in like an almighty push from Naruto, swimming to the sword and getting a TKO by nature. This is of course only hypothetical and extremely unlikely from Gage's writing style, but it will be a pretty interesting matchup in my opinion. Ending with Toto asking Sukuna, Are you not, when the one who left it all behind. Stand proud or strong, with this treasure I summoned Divine General Maharaga. Black box open. I won't forget you for as long as I live, because you're Sato Goju, or because you're the divided one. All jokes aside though, I enjoyed making this video and I hope you enjoyed it as well. This hypothetical type of video is new and I'll see there are a few more interesting ideas that pop into my head going forward if I want to do one again. But if you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Let me know if you liked it, and would like more content similar to this, as it's new to me. I hope you liked it, and as always, have a nice day and take care. Bye, guys.